Chief Secretary of Andhra Pradesh and retired IAS officer. Kaki Madhra, please come, sir. Jai Bhim. Last time, Nenu Chandra Kumar Garu. Ah, I think I'll switch over to English. Myself and Jeff Chandra Kumar were here saying that, including Professor Kanchayalaya, a case is filed against Mr. Bodhya Parao and uh, serious offenses were uh, alleged in that case. It was not just a, it was not a piece of paper by the students, it is registered as an FIR by the police. When such a serious charge is leveled against anybody in authority, he should have the minimum moral responsibility to stay away if not resign. Since he didn't show that kind of sensitivity, we as a committee of National Committee for Moral Responsibility, we said that he should not resume his work as Vice Chancellor till the courts acquit him. Now temporarily he went on leave, but stealthily he entered the university. It's a shame. A Vice Chancellor entering the university like a thief in the middle of night. This is not done. This is not morality. This is not fair play. This is not justice. This is not a higher institutional atmosphere. Heavens are not going to fall if he stayed away till he's acquitted. Why, did, why should he come back? Was he invited by the students? Was he invited by the faculty? Was he not advised the state administration not to join? Yes, he was advised by the state administration not to join, but he came with a deeper design, obviously, from people in Delhi. But as uh, we were discussing, this state was born on a slogan of exploitation of Telangana region. Who should rightly be the Vice Chancellor of a such a prestigious institution as his CEO? He should be a Telangana man. Why bring a come up from Andhra area, which is supposed to be the most rabid communal force. Is it not, in a way, backdoor entry of Andhra domination of the Telangana region? Now, this he must realize. Telangana is brought on a platform of discrimination. My going there is not going to help matters. He should care for the state. He, he should care for the people, not just his wretched job. So yesterday we, some ten of us, professors, Professor, uh, Mr. Chukarame, MLA, and then Malay Parlaksma, we all gave a statement saying that the statement given by the Chief Minister on the floor of the Assembly that the entire House was of the view that Mr. Parak continue as a Vice Chancellor and he said he will take up the matter with the Minister and give effect to the mood of the House. He also said there are complaints that the police have indulged in he inquiry. This is a great gesture. Otherwise, if the Chief Minister has not given that kind of assurance, not to any one person, but to the entire state from the floor of the assembly, that comes as a great boost to you people who are keeping the flag of resistance to your despot's rule in this university. I am sure he will uh, soon act upon that and then you will get the relief where this Apara will not continue as a Vice Chancellor. If he doesn't continue, well, we have the option of a peaceful demonstration till he leaves. And 
we the civil society we will be backing you up every minute and every attempt of yours thank you thank you sir